properties. <clears throat> so, the good thing about number theory is it's a very limited uh, set that you talk about because if I'm only talking about the natural numbers, the counting numbers, what numbers uh, am I talking about? Counting numbers, natural numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, etc., etc., etc. Therefore, I'm not, in number theory, talking about what? There's no fractions. There's no decimals. There's no negatives. You're talking the nice numbers, one, just the counting numbers. Okay, so that's, that's what you deal with in, um, in number theory. Now, in number theory, a couple of uh, key foundational <coughs> concepts, um, kind of hitting a few, few of the highlights here. Uh, <clears throat> one key component of number theory is the idea of divisibility. Now, <clears throat> we know just about any two numbers we can divide them, but in number theory, uh, we're talking about a number being divisible by another number. How, how is a number divisible by another number? Well, if it if it, it has to go evenly, no remainder. That's what we're talking about. A is divisible by B. <clears throat> A is divisible by B, talking about two numbers there, if B goes into A evenly, divides into a evenly, no remainder. <clears throat> so 10 is divisible by <clears throat> 2, or 10 is divisible by 5, but 10 is not divisible by 3, right? 3 doesn't go into it evenly. All right, now there is uh, a little bit of notation here for divisible. This line right here um, in number theory means divides. 2 divides 10. Meaning 2 goes into 10 evenly. <clears throat> then we said 3 is not, uh, 10 is not divisible by 3, so 3 does not divide then 10. So that's the, the notation that, uh, that sometimes is associated there. Okay? All right. <clears throat> um, now, what this also means is what is 2 to 10? What other term here would be associated? Wouldn't 2, <coughs> say, be a factor of 10? 2 is a factor of 10. So that's another idea in number theory. <coughs> if it divides it evenly, it's a factor. And that's what I want to uh, explore with you a little, little bit here. Let's just do a couple of uh, lists of uh, <coughs> factors of certain numbers here. <clears throat> if I wanted to list out all the uh, factors of 20, factors of the 20, well as we know, <clears throat> what about 1? Let's start with 1 since it's the first counting number. Is 1 a factor of 20? Does 1 go into 20 evenly? Yes, it does. 1's a factor of every number. What about 2 in this case? Is 2 a factor? Yes, it is. 2 is a factor. What about 3? No, 4, yes. And then uh, 5, 10, and 20. All the rest of them, <coughs> here's, here's why I know that, because notice here 4 goes with 5, and then 2 with 10 and 1 with 20. <clears throat> That's how I made that list 
and I'll uh, talk a little more about it in just a second. All right, do the same thing here with 36. One's a factor, two's a factor, <clears throat> three is, four is, five isn't, six is, and then I can just start pairing off because then it's nine, 12, 18, and 36. <clears throat> okay? Once you reach a certain point, yeah, they just kind of pair, pair up. So I didn't even go to 8 or uh, 10 or 14. I know those, those aren't factors. Uh, those won't be on the list because <clears throat> of what I'm about to uh, talk about here. Now, do you see how these pairs are pairing up? They kind of pair up outwardly. And uh, you kind of reach the middle point and they pair up around that. Now, I did 36 on purpose because notice in that case, they're kind of pairing up around the 6. There's one, there's one number on this side of 6 and one number on that side of 6. So <clears throat> 6 in this case is the middle ground. What is 6 to 36? It's the what? Root. Square root. Yeah. The square root of 36 is 6. And that's not by accident that 6 here is in the middle of our pairs. <clears throat> and that's another reason it doesn't have a, a pair, uh, another number to pair up with it, because it's its own. Uh, it pairs up with itself, if you will. Okay. Now, notice here, <clears throat> we don't have that middle number there, but if you think about what is the square root of 20? Punch it on your calculator because that's not a nice square root. Square root of 20 is... Anybody got it? Huh? Um, close, I think. 4.47, yes. 4.5. Alright. Um, <clears throat> do you see that our pairs are pairing up, so to speak, around that square root? Yeah, there will always be, here's the way it works. <clears throat> when you're doing these factors lists, there will always be a number less than the square root paired up with a number that's greater than the square root. They'll always pair up. What does that mean? Well, <clears throat> one thing that'll mean... Um, is that <clears throat> when you're doing these factors, all you have to do is really go up to the square root, and that's all the numbers you really have to check, and then they just pair up from there. Just pair them up. Out. Here's what I mean. If I want to do, uh, this will be a little bit larger list, <clears throat> factors of uh, 80. Getting a little bigger number there, but... If you think about it, all I have to do is go up to the square root of 80, which 81 would be 9, so square root of 80 would probably be, what, 8.9, something like that. <clears throat> be my bet there. <clears throat> so all I have to do is, when I'm doing these factors, is go up to that. So I've got, is 1 a factor? Yes. 2 a factor? Yes. 3? No. 4? Yes. 5? Yes. 6? No, seven, no, eight, yes. And I've reached my point there. And so now they're just going to pair up. Eight with ten. Five goes with sixteen. Four goes with twenty. Two goes with forty. And one goes with eighty. That's my list of factors there. See that? So it works in all <coughs> cases. It's Let's do one more. Bigger one, factors of 180. Yeah. Factors of 180. All right. 
So the square root of 180, I'm going to have to go up a little bit further, but not too much because the square root of 180 is... I might count 13.4, so I'm still not going that far up. <clears throat> Just up to 13, basically. One's a factor. Two is. Three is. Four is. Five is. Got a lot of factors. Six is. Just goes evenly. Seven. No. Eight. 180 divided by eight. No. Doesn't go evenly. Nine. Yes. Ten, yes. Eleven, no. Twelve. Yes, 13, no. I've reached my square root, so now it just pairs up. 180 divided by 12, so that would pair up with 15. Uh, 180 divided by 10 is 18. 180 divided by 9 is 20. 30, 180 divided by 6. 180 divided by 5, is that 36? Uh, 180 divided by 4 is 45. 180 divided by 3 is 60. 180 divided by 2 is 90. And 180 divided by 1 is 180. <clears throat> okay. We're out of room there. All right. 